What's up, man? 25 Gamers. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at the X Factor formation of the Indianapolis Colts playbook. This is the single back dice slot X Factor formation that we like to use. And it's pretty simple overall to run. It's a little bit more complicated to teach. So let's take a look at what we like to do here. And the, the main stuff we'll show you. You can get to this in the audibles. So we'll just show you it through our audibles. And it is a three wide receiver set. So it works perfectly with the rest of the scheme. Now the main play we like to use on this play is the Colts divide. We broke down the divide cons or the levels concept. And that's what we have to the left side here. All we want to do is we want to put Jordy Nelson on the out route. We're basically using our seven tip of the week last week. If... Jones does not get pressed, then Nelson's our first read. If Jones does get pressed, Cobb's our first read. Here he doesn't get pressed, so that's our first read. It's not there, but we check down to our running back on that blue route. And then they're in cover three, and this is just a really, it's just a great play. So here we look at it again. Cover three. He gets pressed, so we immediately get the ball out of our hands to Randall Cobb. I like to pass lead that to the left, just so it gets out of the way. And then uh, two man under here. In this situation, Jones is not going to get bumped. We look, oh, he's bumped. So we go back to Jones and hit him with a bullet pass right before he cuts to the inside there. And then a situation where they may be cover to sink. This is where the concept really starts to take hold. Out route's covered. Oh, no. Now the underneath drags open. So you see how it works all together. So that takes care of all the coverages. Um... And then lastly, I want to look at a cover zero. You'll be able to throw outs for days on cover zero. Blitz him down. Cover zero blitz. No press on the outside. So we can easily hit Jordy Nelson. So, I mean, that's why this play is so effective, guys. Tied in is more of a route that we like to use in combination. Inside zone. Now, this is for situations where you could count the number in the box. Remember, you have six blockers. So this a situation where the defense has six guys in the box, we can easily check down to inside zone, get some run, get some running lanes, and again you can run this left and you can run it right. So here I'm going to run it to the left side. You see it's still going to work really effectively. So just know that this is a really good run, and in any situation at any point in time, be willing to hit the defense with this, and it can break, guys. I'm telling you, you're only seeing four or five yards, but it's a consistent four or five yards, and then a chance that you may break this off. So be sure to use the inside zone like that. Next play we have is the Colts under. This is basically our, our makeshift smash concept. I like to put jo uh, Eddie Lacy here on a streak, Randall Cobb on a smoke screen. Jordy Nelson on a smart routed out route, and Jermichael Finley on a zig. A lot of hot routing there, but it's just a really effective play overall. So it gets cover four. Our first read is always a smoke screen. Typically, it's going to be opening its cover four um, and zone blitzes. So a situation where they may be zone blitzing is something like a cover three, and they're going to blitz Hayward off the edge. All right, so let's make our play up here. So this is what it's going to look like pre-snap. We see him blitz it. Okay, we just hey, easily take the smoke screen to Randall Cobb. And it's just a simple one, two, three, go. So that's what we're doing with that play. And then again, uh, let's take a look at our read against um, cover three. Cover three is a situation where Jones is going to get pressed. So he gets pressed. We immediately look to the right out route. That's not there, but we see that the zig route's coming open at this point. Um, you could put Jermichael Finley on just a flat uh, if you wanted to. I like having him on that zig because it can beat man. But if you see here, now we're just a common curl flat concept. He gets bumped on the left, and now you see we can easily hit that out route. We get the spacing. So you can use either or. Uh, I'm just letting you know right now that the flat route will not beat me in coverage. And then what we really like this play for is situation where they may be cover to sink. And we can just pass lead up this corner route. And you see, they just won't go get it because of that smoke screen. The smoke screen holds the flats down, or holds that uh, holds the yellows down this year. So take advantage of this, guys. And then situation where they may be in an actual cover two. Let me get to an actual cover two. Cover two buck. It's going to be even more open. Here you see the running backs open out of the backfield, and that's our last ladder read of this. So. That's pretty much that play. I mean, it's pretty simple, pretty self-explanatory. You just need to work on your reads progressions. Um, okay, now let's take a look at the last play of the day, the double sluggo. And this is just like our, our last last week's play. Um, situation where 
Jones might get pressed here. You're going to immediately throw to square. It, it's like a slant route. It, it's almost like a slant route. It's it's really effective. Um, like I said, when your read is Jones on almost all these plays, here he gets bumped, immediately throw to uh, square. And like a lot of times, that never changes. So you see Randall Cobb go to the house there. Two man under is a situation where he's not going to get pressed. So this is where you may look to... Uh, I like to put Jabeco Finley on a zig as well on this. So a situation where Jones does not get pressed, don't press there, I look to the zig. And you see that the zig is open. Alright. Situation where he may not get pressed also is a cover four. So let's look at that. And you're going to see we can still pass, uh, we can still hit square on that route. So if it's pretty, pretty much if it's zone, you could typically hit uh, Cobb unless he gets pressed. So that's kind of the thing. You see that? Just it's just like a slant. It's like a just a nasty slant route. Uh, that it, it's tough to defend it. But in situation two man under or other or the uh, cover two buck, it's diff more difficult to stop this. Uh, or excuse me, it's easier for them to stop this because they can get catch tackles like you just saw. So that's why I like to go away from it in situation like two man under, which this excuse me this opens up for Jam Jordy Nelson's uh, or Jamichael Finley's zig route. And then lastly, uh, cover zero blitz, situation where Jones won't get pressed, so I'm going to immediately look to Cobb. No press, look to Cobb, and you see it's wide open. So the only situations I can stop this is cover two man under and cover two. So this is where you may go to your smash play because that beats, the bat beats cover two man under, and it beats uh, cover two. But the situation here, we're just going to go to standard, and you see we can still kind of sneak it in, but it's not a very encouraging throw. So let's go to our next read on, two, on cover two, and this is why I like this play as a whole. Because um, if you watch here, they they get um, Jones and, and Nelson, or jo Jones and Finley sit in the zone, basically, for an easy pass lead, or easy, easy open pass. So real quick, one more time here. You know, you're just going to see... You just pass to him and he's just there. I mean, so if he doesn't get pressed, you could just easily give him the ball. So, pretty effective play here. This is kind of a trinket play, and this is what I like to say for situations maybe first drive of the second half, maybe first drive of the game, depending on where I'm at, and just, and just kind of run this offense. But the main play from this is the levels and the inside zone. I would say something you could key on as well is if they are off coverage i would typically run the sluggo just because it's it, it's um, it's almost like even if i'm in two men under and i back off the coverage to try to trap me watch this it's still going to be open so it's not like they can trap you with it and then if they're if they're in a regular cover too i don't think i'm still pretty positive that they can't even trap you in that if they backed off the coverage let's take a look here yeah, it's open. So, I mean, yeah, you could literally, if they're off coverage, I would just throw the sluggo routes. And then if they're press coverage, so a situation, they may be cover three, but they may press now. I would check into your um, Colts under or something and set your hot routes up so that you can beat the, the t cover three, even if they press. So here, oh, it's cover three. I made a bad read. I, got, I still got my curl flat route. So it's all it's all relevant, and, and again, it's all based off of the, the 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 formation's alignment. And then in a situation where they may be spread out, they may be trying to stop your your main stuff. Then don't forget you always have this run to check into. So this is just a really effective mini scheme overall. Um, so just be sure to add this to your playbook. Uh, you don't have to master this scheme. I would say this is probably the least important of all of them, just because it. Um, just because it is more reliable, or, or, or not as not as important, because you only are going to use this once or twice a game. Um, so be sure to check that out. Be sure to check out the scheme, and uh, never forget about that fade you could throw in the red zone to James Jones. Just hot run him to a fade, and uh, we can get that animation just like we got last season when we were running the problem fade out of the Eagles playbook. So be sure to check this out, guys. This offensive scheme is actually pretty good. And let me know what you think. If you have any questions or need further explanation, let me know in the comments below. Thank you guys so much for another great opportunity to share with you guys, and have a great day.